personas conectándose en la noche de hoy, porque ahora vamos para, ya tú sabes, tenemos un, una gran artista que viene con nosotros, talento desde Jacksonville, Florida, local, aquí en The Marky Marcano Show, dándose a conocer para el público en la noche de hoy. Dale play a eso, vamos arriba, vamos arriba. Eso es. Estamos listos, Jessica, y vamos para los estudios en estos momentos, nada más y nada menos que allá, en The Double M Studio. Dale play a eso. Y ya tú sabes, aquí estamos. ¡Woo! Oye, directamente en vivo from Jacksonville, Florida. Vamos a presentar esta noche a esta hermosa joven que está aquí a mano izquierda de nosotros. So, her name is Angela Milagros, igual que la madre mía, Milagros. So, definitivamente, oh. she's a local, pan uh, ¿verdad? Ella es la local de Panamá, artista from Jacksonville, Florida. A la edad de 13 años, Angela began, uh, began writing poetry and taking private vocal lessons in pursuing for her passion. And she continued her lessons into her high school years, and she decided to attend Douglas Anderson, I believe. And then later, years later, after all this amazing career, she's been developing music and everything. Her most recent single, Mood, M-O-O-T, released in August 2020, is streaming right now on all platforms. Angela Milagros will proceed to release her latest EP in winter 2020. Connect with Angela with her social media for more information. Y con fuerte aplauso a Angela. ¡Ay! En vivo, Angela. ¡Ay, mira, mira! ¡Sácame a mí del medio! ¡Yo no soy lindo! ¡Ella sí! Así que tenemos nada más y nada menos que a Angela Milagros en la noche de hoy. Buenas noches y bienvenida al show. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien, y usted, gracias por tenerme aquí. Um, as you know, my Spanish is a little rusty, so I'll speak in English. And oh, don't worry. Hopefully I can do a little Spanglish here and there. That's but thank okay. you guys for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Good <laughs> to see you again, Jessica, and thank you for having Marky. It's a here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jessica, and you know what? We're so excited because thanks to Jessica, actually, you got this, uh, you know, we got this opportunity to meet you because you know what? The honor is, is our honor to have us, to have you in the show with us. So I'm so excited. So thank you, Jessica. Jessica, here's Angela Milagros. Cuando quieras empezar. Go ahead. Show is all yours. Well, girl, what can I say? Yes. <laughs> I'm happy to have you. It's my pleasure for real. And I'm so excited to let everybody know here around town that Angela Milagro is still working out there, still yes. writing her songs, still singing, still doing her Marvel self. Um, we've been working together for over two years. I've right. actually been close to your, you know, um, entrepreneurship. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> you Long being out time. there and exposing <laughs> yourself and um, getting more audience to like your music. I am yeah. impressed because you've done a little bit of everything. And yes. I've been personally in your show. So I know exactly how you perform. And I just want to talk a little bit about your new song, the new single. I want you to tell me a little bit about the lyrics and what... Jessica, you okay? I think you broke Got up a little you. bit, Jessica. Yeah, she's kind of like slowing down. Jessica, you okay? Jessica. You, hello? Yes. Can you hear me now? I yes, we hear, hear you now. now. All right. <laughs> So I'll, I'll go over it a little bit faster this time. So basically, I just want to know, I mean, what are the lyrics of the new song? Because I know you've been up to, you know, projects and stuff like that. And I can see you're doing your marketing for the new single. So yeah. go ahead and explain to our audience what's the lyric about and what gets you to write that type of song. Um, well, I've been thinking about kind of what... Um, My new EP will, that I'm releasing December 2020 is called Bliss. Um, and so what really inspired me to write this particular song is, or the, the entire album or EP in general is kind of like, I wanted to pick a couple um, who's in love. And of course, when you're in true love, love isn't always so easy. It's up and down. Um, so with this song Mood, I wanted to depict um, part of the initial stages of a couple um, meeting each other and it, connecting with each other and kind of just going through this whole, um, I guess, feeling of butterflies um, when they meet. Um, it's called mood because it's kind of so when someone's um, 
has you balanced and aligned emotionally, you really connect with them. You're look focused on them. You're looking at their eyes. You are able to, you're not nervous. You're able to express yourself clearly and you just feel so comfortable with the right person. Um, and that's, I kind of just wanted to depict that emotion because I, I think it's a beautiful emotion to have when you're truly connected with somebody. Um, that's just the most important part of a relationship, um, especially in the initial stages and to develop into something long lasting and beautiful. So that's what I really wanted to depict in that song in particular. I agree with you. That <laughs> is the best in your relationship. And yeah. it's always you know, a happy story. And it's an experience that you can go back to and actually feel that emotion all over again. Right. So with your writing, it's, it's like you, you transport yourself to that moment, to that very moment when that happens. So you have in your heart that middle name or that special feeling yeah. that it's amazing. <laughs> However, being a songwriter and being a singer, it's not your full-time job. Your full-time job is as a registered, registered nurse. nurse. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about it because it, it's that? like you're juggling two professions. I know that you have a lot of support from your family. I've yeah. met your family and they're amazing. But how do you juggle two very different careers? Uh, well, um, the medical profession in itself, um, in order to actually do your job, um, it can, you're dealing with people. So in order to do your job well and efficiently, you have to understand people and what they need. Uh, when you're working in a hospital, you are no, you are meeting people at their worst moments. So you really have to kind of put your ego down and really be able to connect with what people that either can't speak up for themselves because they're so sick or just not 100% because they are sick as well and they just aren't at their best state emotionally. So you really have to set yourself aside and really connect with them. And it's not, I don't think that it's, um, of course the, the job and the physical aspect of it is very different from music, but emotionally, it's typically all the same. You learn a little bit about each patient differently. You meet their wives, you meet their husbands, you get to know intimate parts of their lives about how they miss their family, how they miss their pet. Um, so it's, mm -hmm. you learn about people and it's not really emotionally, it's not all that different. Um, you experience, the worst parts of their life. Um, you get to have those moments with them. Um, so I think if you really accept um, that part of the job all in itself, you're able to grow as a person and be able to expand emotionally on um, different personalities and different people. And you can incorporate that into music. Um, you know, sometimes like you would listen to my lyrics and think like I'm in so in love with somebody or whatever, but actually a lot of those stories come from people that I've met and interacted with and I think that their stories are so inspiring and so beautiful you know you just want imagine what that feeling would be like for them and you can see their emotions on their faces how comforting and warm they feel inside and that's what true love is being married you met patients being married for like 30 50 years you know they still have that same spark you know it never goes away when you're with the right person so I think that this profession was a blessing not only to support my profession but also to learn different personalities and kind of, you know, get in depth with my music and be able to write about it. Jessica. It keeps you human. It keeps you yeah. human. And that interaction one-on-one -on -one with people, I think it's amazing. We, uh, I think I speak for Marky when I say that we appreciate you for being an essential worker and being Thank part you. of this, you know, hard times that we're going through. So it's amazing that you keep a balance and that you also inspire other people, you know, to stay calm or, you know, have to go through their difficult times in a different way and not dwell on what it's happening. But right. sharing their story maybe helps them, you know, feel more comfortable, you know. Right. So I think it's amazing what you've been doing. Like I said, I've <laughs> known you for a while now. I've seen you grow not only professionally but like like you yourself 
I, I can see pictures from two years ago and see you now and you've transformed to this beautiful woman. It's it's almost like a, a metamorphosis, tú sabes, y, y me parece genial. Um, oh, gracias, gracias. Like I said, I wish you nothing but the best and um, hugs for you and your family that are currently doing so much for our community here in Jacksonville. So I'm going to have you go through Mark now because I know he's dying to ask you more questions. Oh, <laughs> I've course. been talking for too long. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, we need Oye, that talk, girl. <laughs> Jessica, Carl, I'm going to go to the way. Y entonces ella se va, entro yo ahora. Hello. All right. So, um, fíjate, grandes preguntas que hizo Jessica, but I have, I'm always, always um, going back in time. When you find out music, it was actually something was calling your attention. In which moment of your childhood or something that you find out says, that's what I want when I grow up? When that happened? Um, I've actually been singing since I was in Virginia Beach, since I was eight years old. Um, so I've always been doing it. Um, I started writing, like, as you know, since I was 13. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just something that um, you just is always my happy place. You know, I'm generally a very happy person anyways. Yeah. But I think it's just always some a place where um, when I'm either listening to music, uh, going to a concert, singing, I it just makes you feel, you know, like you can be completely yourself. There's no other care in the world. And I just like to hold on to that feeling. So I think, I mean, it's always been like that. I'm not, not sure when it started, but I've always something, it's just familiar to me what I've always been doing. So Very good, very good, very good. So um, if you had the opportunity to choose a, a, a Gendra, which one uh, will be the best for you? I mean, I know we have uh, Latinos, we have a lot of Latino influenced music and mm -hmm. Panamians, they love salsa. So pretty much... What is your actually your your exactly gender on um, your music that you want to show and focus all the time? Is there anyone um, a style on your music, or there can be anything? Um, it can generally be um, anything that can express that can depict right. the emotion that I want to express. Um, uh, so I'm I don't want like to close myself in a box. I have sung in Spanish. Um, I yeah. do sing pop. I do sing jazz. So I like to be versatile because. Music is a broad spectrum of emotions. You can't just put it in one box. Correct. So um, right now, the music I have come out with is more along the pop R&B side but, and jazz. Um, but I can do so much more. And I'm just ready to depict that. Um, yeah, I have a lot of music coming up, so I'm excited. <laughs> that will be nice. So hoping when you have your music video, we can actually have it here yes. on the show, right? Because In I the works right now <laughs> as we speak. I just spoke with my videographer. So we're collaborating with ideas. We have our storyboard together, so I'm really excited. Nice. All right, all right. <laughs> um, you are, let me ask you something. Are you are the singer that pretty much want to show a message through the music? What will be yeah. your message? Um, my message would just to be, um, find that place in your heart that makes you feel happy and just grow on that and never look back, live life like with no care in the world, like no one's watching and you will be successful in life. Just be happy. And that's your only, you're the only one that can define that. And that's what I would want to depict with my music. That's correct. That's awesome. Very good. Well, big applause and I for... You know, Angela Milagros, um, everybody knows my mother's name is Milagros. So have you had that name? It's so, so special. So that I don't see that a lot in, um, and, and everybody that I met. So just always my mother, but now have you. So, oh. you know, that's awesome. You know what mi Milagros means, right? It's like a miracle, you know. Miracle. Right? Miracles. Yes. So that's very good. So your mother actually have a good taste to pick the name right there. There you go. That was actually my uh, my late grandmother's name. Her name was Angela Milagros, Beautiful. too. All so. right. Oh, there you go. There's a lot of things going on. Generation keep moving, and that's a great. Yep. So, okay, what else we got here? Let's see, because before we jump to Jessica, Jessica, are you still there? Of course, I'm here. Oh, you better not. All right, so you better not <laughs> going away. So, <laughs> so right now, as music is learning and, and going through your music, I mean, your career right now, what was the best experience right on stage, if you had that opportunity on stage, um, what was the best 
um, how I can say, it's like the best moment of your life. He says, I knew this is what I want, and now with this experience, this is going to make me continue more stronger and continue forward. Do you have any experience uh, like that with music? I think it's when I went to sing in Canada. Um, oh. I was ex I was able to sing um, a cover song before my brother's soccer game. Um, I think that experience being in front of a, a large crowd, in front of my family, wow. in front of my brother, was very exciting. It was inspiring to see yourself on the big screen. So I think that was just... I, mean, I was always going to keep going, but I think that was really like what solidified. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting and it's fulfilling. I can't believe. It. I mean, <laughs> you're in Canada from Florida. I heard that your brother is a is a, a you know a soccer player superstar. Yes. So hey, you know, <laughs> and now uh, uh, little sister now is a singer and she's just performing right now in front of the crowd. I mean, I guess all the Canadians were having a blast. Say, like, hey, we got. Yeah. Like, Two for the price of one. Here we go. We got a player. We got a singer too. <laughs> so that is amazing. Um, I see a lot of things. I actually took the days to know more from you and actually whatever you're doing right now, keep it doing. Follow your dreams. You're you're great. You're you're actually the way I I um I meet you because you know I have to be honest. Sometimes you see something. But then when you met in person, it's a, it's a different story. I have to say, because right. for almost eight years, I met so many people. But honestly, I always believed in that person not only is uh, beautiful on the music and beautiful inside and outside, that is the hit right there. And I always say that, and and I always support the best for you. Anytime you want to stop you. by the show, you got a new music. Yes, he got Marky. I got a new music. Oh, I need to. Yes. You know, let's First bring Jessica live right now. Jessica's <laughs> here now, so... Yeah, bring it on, share with us. We want to hear from your music. But before we go, right, this is something we always put a test to our singers in the show. Jessica, what it is? You know what, I, what we doing here? I'm thinking that you want her to sing something. I'm That's right. Say, there we go. <laughs> something like improvise. I mean, you got to understand, Mikey does this to everybody. <laughs> He'll not let you know beforehand. He'll just drop it like it is. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's good. That's good. We, we're, okay. By this time, we're already more than PG. Don't worry about it. <laughs> PG? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yes, actually, something from, from your new, actually, you know, release, something, a couple seconds that we can hear. We just want to hear. Your voice. The show is all yours. We got out of the camera right now. The show is all hers right now. Three, I'm two, one. You, he all right. Does this. Angela Milagro. Oh, my show. close up and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, everybody. Lost in my eyes, babe. Don't hide, babe. I'll see the colors of me. The me in Ooh, you got me in the mood. Me and you get higher than the moon. That's amazing, freak. Big applause tonight. Awesome. Okay, now we can get to the cameras now. There we go. Now we're back. We're not running. There you go. There you go. Fix, <laughs> fix the camera. There you go. All right. Girl, this practice. is amazing. I've seen her on stage. I everything. So, can you hear me? A little bit. You broke up a little bit. Yes. Yeah, but now, now you're back on normal again. Go ahead. Yes. So, anyway, I've seen <laughs> this girl. Girls singing on oh, or her um, drills and everything, and uh -huh. I always have a great, great time. <laughs> Other are always there to support her, so I think that you not not only Jessica, are you there? Of your family, yeah. Now you, Je Jessica, are you there? Did you hear me? No, it kind of like no. cutting off, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dale, que se está cortando, so, anyway, all I wanted to say is I'm happy to have had you here 
talk a little bit Thank about you your song, your career. Me. You're doing great. You're beautiful as ever. What <laughs> other, um, you know, what, what words of encouragement do you have for girls your age that may see you and say, I could be her. I want to be her. What would you say to them? Well, I would say be your best you. And if I inspire you to be, if you're inspired to be me, I would say I want to inspire you to be the best person you can be because you're unique and beautiful in yourself. You're capable of anything. There's only one you, girl. Go out and go get it, okay? That's what I'm I love you. <laughs> All right. Hey, we don't we don't do this, but I think we look great all together in the same camera. Let's take a photo right here, live right now. Look the camera right here. So in three, two, one, and you're right. Hey, we already got it. So we're live right now. We got photos and everything live at the Marky Marcano show. So for more information, just follow our pages, and we're gonna share all this beautiful interview with the one and only Angela Milagros Anoche de hoy. So social media y donde la gente, where everybody can go just to pretty much follow your music and follow everything. I, I know you have a YouTube channel, so we gotta we gotta follow each other. Yeah. So All right. So um, go ahead. So my uh, I have an actual link tree that links everything there. Um, so my Instagram is, of course, Angela Milagros with a J, Angela with a J. My website is angelamilagros.org. Um, my YouTube can be found on my Linktree account. It's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E forward slash Angela Milagros. And you can find all of my um, web, um, all of my links there. Um, any um, charities that I support is also there. You can donate if you like as well. But just everything that I'm working on, that I support, is all there, so you guys can check it out. All right, yeah. Jessica, ya, ya nos vamos. Yo no, yo no sé tú, pero este, o nos quedamos. Tú me dices. <laughs> Jessica, that was bueno, a ha sido una entrevista <laughs> espectacular, mi amiga. Thank you for eh, having ella es panameña. Para las personas que no escucharon bien su nacionalidad, es panameña y otra vez es parte de nuestra familia. Hemos estado compartiendo ya hace unos años, con, conozco a su familia personalmente, con lo que lo hace un poquito más íntimo esta relación. Pero, mi amor, te deseo todo el mayor del éxito. Ahora, 